Alright, so hello YouTube, it is I, Ravel Racing, and so today we will be doing, well, sorry, we'll be making our own Mercedes AMG GT. So, as you guys can see on the screen right now, it shows the Roadster. Now, you guys already know, I don't really like convertibles, I don't like Roadsters, basically. But, but this one doesn't look too bad, considerably, saying as to how this rear right here looks really nice. Especially really low down and then from the side you know side scope really nice looks really nice so there's the AMG GT and the GTC Roadster hmm it's interesting it's two different ones two different ones pretty weird okay so this talks about most of the you know the, um, the car itself most of the parts of it right so this is most of the design, it has aerodynamics, things like that. Ooh, what's this? So you get, we got two packages as it turns out. An exterior night package, and an exterior carbon fiber package. Now this is the night package, and now this is the carbon fiber package. Now there is a small difference I noticed. Oh, actually, it doesn't exist. It's wow, really wow. They've actually decreased the weight, a bigger screen, really nice seat, and I believe there's some cooling system in the seat. Wow, that, that's really nice, actually. Alright, so now we are at the models, right? And so, here we can choose what we want. Do we want the AMG GT Roadster or the AMG GTC Roadster? Um, I really don't know. So this is the GT. Now we're going to go to the GTC. Let's see the difference. Now guys, again, with apologies, that's not the website, it's the majority of my laptop. It's pretty slow. <laughs> so, I think we should go with the GTC Roadster. Alright, so let's click build. We'll keep it in this color for now. I don't have a problem with black. I think it's a nice color. Oh, the graphics in this are pretty bad for that picture, to be honest. Ooh, now it's pretty good. I don't know how it looks for you guys because I completely reset. It's completely new software, new everything for my recording right now, for my recordings for the laptop, and, well, of course, me. Everything's new, so I don't know how everything's working. This is my first video with using this. So. Please forgive me if this doesn't come out well. Alright. So, right now, our base price is $157,995. Wow. That's really expensive. Alright, so, this is with the top up. Alright, we can toggle it to get the top. I mean, this is with the top down. We can get it with the top up. Let's, you know, toggle it to see it. Alright, so now we can choose everything. We can get exterior, interior, entertainment and convenience, performance and safety, and service and care. And then we get to summary, of course. Alright, so now we're at the colors right now. I really do like the black color. It makes it nice. Let's go with blue, because, you know, guys, blue is my favorite color. Like, look at my shirt. It's in the color blue. And I just realized something. My microphone is down here. So I don't know how this is going to conflict in the video now because this camera is recording and then this was recording as well. <laughs> oh gosh. It's going to take a lot of editing. And now this ruffling that it's going to make from the microphone. Oh, it's going to be really bad. This is my microphone, by the way, guys. Just, just saying. Just saying. Alright. Ooh. It's really nice and blue, but those rims, those rims are really killing it. They're, oh, they're, uh, they're ugly, those rims. Gotta change them. So right now we have 19 inch on the front and 20 inch rims on the back. Twin five spoke wheels. I don't really like them. I don't think five spoke wheels look nice with this Mercedes. Ooh, so here we have a forged one, another five spoke. Ooh. I want to go with the black one. Because I think that look really nice with the blue. Blue and black are amazing color combinations. Oh yeah. 
that 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 looks spectacular. That looks really good right there. Incredible. All right. Soft top. Leave that black. I didn't even mold a soft top, but what choice do we have, right? What choice do we have? All right. So do we want the rear badge deletion? No. I want the rear badge. What type of question is that? AMG exterior night package. Um, sure. Why not? All right. Price has gone up, but you can see that up here. Do we want tire valve stem caps? Yes. Wheel hub inserts? Yes. AMG heritage hub cap inserts? Yes. License plate frame? No, I hate license plate frames. They completely kill the design. Depends on it though. If they're the certain nice ones, they're pretty good. But this, uh, I don't really know. Alright, now we can go to next. Let's see what's next on the list. Ooh, I like this little cinematic view thing that they're doing. Sorry guys, something jumped. I really like this, really nice. I'm sorry guys, the video's loading so slowly. Oh, but we'll just continue on to the bottom part. So the color, the interior color for the seats. We'll keep it with the black exclusive Napa leather. Unless they have a blue sort of, like, contrast thing. Because that would look decent with it. But they don't. So I guess we'll leave it alone. We can change the trim. Uh, I quite like it with the white trim. Looks nice. Seat belts continue to be black all right AMG interior night package sure to add that feature you must also add one of the following so either we get the mate carbon fiber exclusive or the black piano liqueur all right let's get the oh three weird we cannot select it to specifically get it that's really weird. Okay, I guess we have to skip because I don't know where that option was, so. Quite unfortunate. AMG Carbon Fiber Door Sill Trim. Yes. Oh, I'd love to see that name every day when I get in the car. That would look amazing. AMG Napa Leather Performance Steering Wheel. No, I, I want that to stay as it is. Next. Now we get to Entertainment and Convenience. Hmm, okay. Pretty decent screen. So, Burmester High End Surround Sound System. Yes, better the sound. It's pretty good. Key standard features. So, this is all the standard ones, right? I have to add this. I, I'm so confused right now. Oh. Oh, wow. So, it comes with this command with a touchpad controller. Cool. He did power folding. He did. Why did it? Why did? Oh, because it fogs up. That makes sense. Okay. Dual roll bars. All right. Eight airbags. Wow. Collision prevention assist plus. Okay. Attention assist. Pause. Hmm. Oh, so this will detect if you're like sleepy or something. And I guess it'll say, stop the car. It won't stop, but it'll say, pause, please. Don't crash me. LED high performance headlamps. Blind spot assist. I've seen this on Acura MDX. It's pretty useful, actually. Lane keeping assist. Oh, no image available. Come on, Mercedes. No image available. Come on. Oh, rear view camera. All right. Yeah, I sort of expect that on a $160,000 Mercedes, I mean, I expect that. Media interface consumer cable kit. Oh, basically this comes with all types of chargers. Yes, of course. Media interface consumer cable. Okay, and these are all the individual ones if you don't want to get that. But why don't you just get that? Maybe you can share with your friends if they ever come on. Instead of getting all those, because that adds to more than that. I don't quite understand the logic behind this. Plus, I noticed they don't have USB Type-C. For their cables, they only have micro USB for Android, basically. Hmm. It's not good, Mercedes. You should put micro USB, I mean, USB Type C in there. All right. So now we're at a price of one hundred sixty-seven thousand, pretty much. Oh, price rate, price rise a bit by about 
ten thousand, right? The original price was about one hundred fifty-seven thousand. I believe so. All right, lane tracking package. Sure, I mean, <laughs> why not? So that comes with blind spot assist and lane keeping assist, meaning you can autopilot like a Tesla. It'll stay in the same lane. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. AMD High Performance Ceramic Composite Braking System. Yes. I don't want to die when I go at high speeds. I prefer to brake nicely. No. Distronic Plus. No idea what that is. Can you, is there a way I can like find out? I don't have to click it. Okay, here it tells me. Oh, it's adaptive cruise control basically. So basically it's a competition to Tesla's autopilot or any you know, autopilot for any system. Carbon fiber engine compartment cover. Yes, that would look amazing. Because that way you get a plus. Like when the car stops working and you have to open the hood. Oof, just seeing that will just make the anger or the feeling of the car breaking down just wash away. That would be amazing. Alright, these are all the key standard features with the normal thing. Okay. And this comes with a 4.0 liter V8 engine. It's pretty big. Well, not super big, but it's quite big. Alright, so Mercedes Benz Star Service prepaid maintenance. <laughs> um, I really don't want any of that. AMG indoor car cover. Yes, that's the only thing I want from accessories. Service and care. <laughs> Yeah, the other things, eh. Alright guys, so that's, well, that's the end of it. Hmm. So anyway, the price is $181,370,000. Hope I said the numbers correctly. That is really expensive for such a Mercedes. I mean, of course it's cool, but that's really expensive. I mean, to be honest, I don't even like how it looks. It, it doesn't look very attractive to me. I mean, that front right here, like, look, it, it doesn't, it doesn't shout Mercedes to me. It doesn't shout, ah, like normal Mercedes. It just, like a businessman's Mercedes, basically. It's not a roadster. It's just there. I really don't like it. And, yeah, to be honest... Mercedes, I really do not quite like your website, and I'm only saying this because, it's, well, I really want you guys to fix this, because other people won't like this either, because other websites such as the Chevy website, the Ford, what they do is when they tell you you need to get something else for another feature to work, you should make, you should make it be able, make it able to just click there and add it, not go through your entire website again to find that feature and then turn it on. I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense, Mercedes. Come on. And then on this final screen here, the final screen, you, sh you should show the end result, not, like, the car from its originality. Like, I chose blue colors, the 19, 20-inch uh, black wheels, the aluminum wheels, black. Right? I changed a lot of things. Well, not really. I, I changed quite a things, and I don't see any of that in my final product. So, I'm a normal customer. I might be thinking, what happened? Did it not save? What's going on here? So, I'm just saying, Mercedes, please fix all this. If you watch this video. If anybody from Mercedes watches it. And, let's just see if we can get to the um, our original build anyway. So... How can we... Let's go to um, performance and safety. Where we were originally. I'm pretty sure we can possibly... Actually, no. Let's go to exterior. Maybe we, okay, there we go. We can get some images of the car now. So this is... I don't want to do this. Like, if you're a consumer, you don't want to go back all the way here to get a final look at your car. You just want to be done with. Just get the car. So, let's look at it. So, this is with the top down. I like this look for the Mercedes, even though I don't like the look of the Mercedes to begin with. But, it doesn't look bad. Let's go with the top up. See how it looks. 
Hmm. Come on. I'm starting to think it's not really my laptop. I'm starting to think it's the website. Because the Ford website, the Chevy website, we were, we were able to get things done faster with the same computing system. And yet, there's nothing going on here. So, let's look more views, to be honest. That, that might just be better. Alright, so this, this is loaded. Okay, so it looks... I like this car from the back. Or from side angles. I don't like it from the front. That front, I really do not like that. It's... Ugh. From the back, this car looks amazing, to be honest. Look at it. Oh my gosh, that looks so amazing. From the other side? Okay. that That's nice. That's really superb. And then where else do we get it from? Another front view. Again, that front is killing the look there. But, quite a nice picture. Alright, let's go to interior. See if we can get some interior shots. Okay, so, ooh, so it's not really a video. It's... Can maneuver inside the your car and see how it looks. Okay, Mercedes, that's a big plus right there. I really love this feature on your website. I, you guys must be wondering why is he doing a review of the website? Shouldn't he be doing a review of the car mostly? Not nice. Nice. I am, but at the same time, you know the website. That way, if you guys buy this car, you don't have to go through these troubles. All right, so I'm really liking the inside here. Alright, we can zoom in on some parts. So you can see a little Mercedes emblem right there. The touchpad and everything for the uh, controlling of the control controlling the car. The screen, mini screen inside the dashboard. Oh, looks really nice. And one of the airbags right here. Right. Hmm. Pretty cool. I must say. and then the website stop. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys. Oh wait, actually, nope, it's working again. <laughs> anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys found it nice, useful. I really hope this came out well for you guys on your devices where you where you're reading this video. Where the quality came out nicely. I really hope it did, because this is being recorded and who knows what. I didn't even get to look yet. And then this is being recorded in about, like, 1080p, right, my face. And then when I put it into my software, and then when I save it, that's in 720p. Then when I put it into my next software, that's 1080p. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but I guess we'll see. I really hope it works out. So, guys, remember, click that. Remember, guys, click that like option, and click the subscribe button, and... Remember, always watch my videos. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.